And just like that, all of the sleds have crossed the finish line. The snow is removed off of Washington Street and another UP 200 weekend is complete. Local 3's Haley Schoengard gives us a recap of this weekend's festivities. The UP 200 weekend is one of the most anticipated weekends of the year, but there is far more to the weekend's festivities that extend beyond Friday night. Saturday morning kicked off with the Jack Pine 30. Today's a beautiful day to be in Gwynn, Michigan, as far as I'm concerned. It is. It's The trail is gorgeous. They, there were a couple changes since when I last did it a few years ago. And um, I mean, volunteers at every road crossing, everyone was so nice. There's this ice bridge that people have been building for weeks and I it was so well built I like didn't even notice we were going over it. So just an absolute blast. Let's go, go, let's go, go, go. And over in Marquette, some future mushers found a way to get in on all of the action as well by giving the sport a try at the Kitty Mutt Run. And the weekend's festivities end right here at Matson Lower Harbor, where the UP 200 racers cross through this finish line, marking the end of another successful UP 200 race weekend. Brian Anderson taking home his ninth UP 200 victory this weekend, making him the most decorated UP 200 musher. And in true Upper Peninsula fashion, Anderson tells us the weather gave these mushers a run for their money. Well, it was blizzard, <laughs> so it was pretty wild. The, the first run wasn't bad until probably the last two hours, so I don't know what time that was, but then this, the snow started coming and the winds, and it was white out. I could only see the back eight dogs. Um, and then just the rest at the Wetmore was just wind blowing and howling and drifting and shaking the truck, and so it was pretty wild there. Um, and it didn't really subside until, I don't know, maybe halfway through the next run. The winds, the snow kind of tapered off, but the winds were still howling, which was causing a lot of drifted areas. But so, but yeah, it was, it was, it was a tough race. Reporting from downtown Marquette, Haley Schongart, Local 3 News. And like Haley said, Ryan Anderson finished first for the UP 200. He was followed by Wade Mars in second and Nick Valangie in third. For the midnight run, Michael Bestian finished in first place. Second place was Joanna Oberg and Larry Fortier came in third place out of the 17 teams. And in the Jack Pine 30, Aaron Schulweiler clinched first place. Jerry Trudell came after her finishing in second and Jerry Menard takes third place. For more coverage from this weekend, find the UP 200 page on upmatters.com.